So my name is Landi Lemabele. Uh, I'm the founder of Formidable Technology and I'm an innovator from Guamashu. Um, so I'm really passionate about helping people through technology and innovation. So that's really what sparked the interest in uh, innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, one problem my business addresses is I've seen that many people suffer with diabetes. So this uh, problem has struck home in terms of like last year my grandfather succumbed to a heart attack and he has been suffering with diabetes for the past 10 years. Now, he found it very hard to manage, monitor and track his glucose level. And as a pensioner, uh, he found it very hard in order to afford the test strips in order to test his glucose level because essentially you would pay four rands in order to test yourself. Now, as a pensioner, you don't have that luxury of affording that four rand because that four rand accumulates over a week. On average, a person tested or pricks themselves seven times a day. Now, if you were to add that up, it, 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 it mounts up. Now, that opted me. Uh, after his passing, I came to understand that what led to him succumbing to a heart attack was that he had a high glucose level. So, after talking to doctors, I found that uh, that was the cause of him succumbing to a heart attack. Now, that opted me to find a solution for this because over 500 million people worldwide have diabetes and 1.5 million have died of like diabetes. Now essentially that opted me to innovate a solution that can help manage months and track glucose level non-invasively because the problem with the, the normal testing method you have to prick yourself so there's a cost barrier to that and the problem is it only gives you that accurate uh, reading at that present time so with our solution we aim to create a device or offer people with diabetes a device that can monitor your glucose level in real time minute by minute and throughout the whole day. What you just need to do is just charge the device and it continuously monitors you. Now, we can, because many people find it very hard to prick themselves, now the device you can just strap it on and it will be able to monitor you 24-7, uh, anytime, anyway. The toughest challenge that I've had to overcome is I don't have any medical background, um, I'm not a doctor, so I would simply say I'm an innovator and with any innovator we, we might not be in that industry but uh, I would say my belief has been the strong, uh, strong core in terms of me actually pursuing this uh, idea and passion of mine to innovate a solution. So in terms of uh, overcoming this I would say my, my strong core belief helped me to overcome this problem and I had to uh, find team members who are experts in that field in order to help me achieve my business goal and help many people who are suffering with diabetes offer them a solution because this problem is for them. So in terms of the development, what, I've, uh, what am I currently doing or what am I doing is, uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm busy negotiating, talking to experts in the field because it, 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 it's good to know people, to find people who are more ex experienced and have the know-how to do the technology. So I found people who are experts in terms of the medical field, uh, the electronics field, to help me put this idea into a physical product because essentially that's what the, the, the core feature is to now incorporate the idea, bring people who are experts and just bring their minds together in order to create a solution for people with diabetes. Where do I see myself in five years? So in five years, I see myself as the Elon Musk in the healthcare sector because essentially in terms of the healthcare sector, I've identified a lot of problems. Um, so with that, with my mind and my passion for helping people, I aim to offer solutions in the medical field, uh, such as, as I've seen that, like in terms of the, the public and the private sector, there's a huge difference. Now, I aim to create an equilibrium where the same services you're going to get in private, you're going to get in public, offer them the very same services as well. So that's where I see myself in five years and offering solutions to uh, chronic illnesses such as diabetes, uh, cardiovascular diseases, just innovating technology that's going to help uh, in terms of improving life and also helping or building sustainable health systems in, in, in the world and but mainly home in South Africa and that's where I see myself and in terms of the technology I see the technology in five years helping people in terms of 
managing and monitoring and tracking uh, their diabetes or glucose level and also innovating technology that's going to help in terms of uh, detecting uh, diabetes at an earlier stage because as they say prevention is better than cure so that's the whole aspect of the whole innovation or the high level concept in terms of developing technology that can actually now help in terms of detecting uh, diabetes at an earlier uh, stage because diabetes affects uh, it's, it's a highly common in between the age group of 18 to 44 because essentially right now we're sitting with over 8 million uh, people from that age group that have diabetes in, in, in KwaZulu-Natal, let alone. So in this journey I have to say um, I've been tested a lot and it hasn't been an easy journey. One thing that I, I can say I've learned is uh, in terms of us as innovators, we, we, we forget that we have to build a business model around the business or up around our idea. And I've come to understand that with my idea, then now I have to build a business that's going to be able to sustain myself and be able to sustain my vision, right? So that's the biggest takeaway I've learned from this journey is that, that we, as much as we come up with ideas, we also need to come up, we need to also be business minded in terms of taking the idea into the market because you can have an idea but now you need the business skills in order to take it to market so that it, it will reach the necessary people which it's it, 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 it intended for. Um, do you have any advice for other innovators? Ah, advice to innovators. My advice to you is uh, believe in yourself. It's believe, believe, believe in yourself. Because uh, a strong belief can go a long way. Uh, I won't lie, uh, the entrepreneurship journey is very tough and very rigorous. But it's that strong core belief that will drive you forward. Everyone has a purpose. So I just say search for your purpose and your purpose will guide you. Do not search for money, rather seek to be a person of value then money would follow. Then if you offer value to the world, then the, the, the world would pay you for your value. Uh, so people can get a hold of me. If you want to get a uh, hold of me, you can get me on uh, Instagram, Landi uh, Lamabele, or you can drop me an email. It's Landi Lamabele9 at gmail.com. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity and uh, I hope to touch people's lives and please join me in this journey on helping people with diabetes find a solution in terms of managing and monitoring and tracking them because it's essential. Uh, help me help someone's grandfather. Thank you.